Hey there, this is Todd at BizLadder. This video is going to talk about lightboxes and pop-up subscription forms on your Wix website. Lightboxes are those sometimes annoying pop-ups when you go to a website that say 10% off, sign up, give me your email, we'll spam you. I mean, we won't spam you. Uh, those can be very useful. Uh, my experience is running an e-commerce website that had a quarter of a million email subscriptions. So we definitely used light boxes and pop-ups and hey, give us your email messaging to build that list. All right, so let's go back over to a Wix editor. This is a test website that I have up. You're gonna click add. This is assuming you don't have any light boxes on your site yet. You're gonna go to interactive. We see light boxes and we've got a few different kinds. You can pick whichever one you like. We've got three different subscribe options to choose from right, center, right, left, center, top, bottom. You could change that after the fact, but just pick the one that's closest to what you want. We click that and you can see we go into light box mode. The rest of the site is hidden behind it. You can see in our menus and pages, we now have a light box section or row under our site pages. It's treated like a page on the website effectively, uh, minus a few settings. And then all of these are familiar settings. It's the same thing as settings here, which actually is the same as set triggers, but we'll get to that. All right. So let's talk a little bit about how to use a lightbox and how to get emails real briefly here. We're not going to deep dive into this on this video, but when's the last time you went to a website and gave them your email address? Why did you give them your email address? Because you wanted something. They had something you wanted, probably a discount code, but it could have been anything. It could have been a free ebook, a download, a you know, list of tips and best practices, whatever. They had something you wanted and you gave them their email. Now, when was the last time you went to a website and just said, here, take my email without really anything of value in return? Never, or maybe 20 years ago, right? So you have to offer something of value. Just saying, we're gonna give you a great newsletter to your inbox. You will get zero subscribers, or maybe your you know, mom and dad will sign up. But you have to offer something of value don't have anything of value to offer, don't try and collect emails yet. Right? There are better ways to get an audience if you can't offer something of value. All right, so let's dive in. You can see we are in lightbox mode. Let's get rid of the menu. We're going to click settings, set triggers and settings go to the same place. You can name it here, whatever you want. Let's do this test. Now you have to decide if you want it to automatically display on pages. Chances are for a subscription sign up, you do. All right. You don't want to trigger it. You want to force it on people. That's just the way it goes. They don't like it, but it still works. All right. Now you can do some things to make it less intrusive and less annoying. Some of those are what page is it on? Do not show a pop-up on every single page. Not unless you want visitors to never return to your site. Now there's a lot of negatives. Just don't put it on every page. You could select home. Maybe it applies to a couple others. Go ahead and select those, but not every page. Then let's talk about the delay. Don't make it show up right away. If somebody comes to your website and they don't know you yet, or maybe they're just superficially familiar with your business, they don't, they're not going to give you their email two seconds after they hit the page. All right, this should be minimum five seconds, probably longer. Think about it this way. If they're on your page for 20 seconds, they're interested. They're, they're, in, they're into it. Whatever you're talking about, they're into it. So they might be primed for an offer here. We'll give you this. You're reading about X. We'll give you Y that's related to X. Just give us your email address. And you can say, you know, we won't spam you. Maybe they'll believe you. So, you know, make this as long as you can get it. Test it out if you have visitors, but make it a long time. All right. Then you have link. We'll talk more about that. How to close it. Just choose one or the other. And X is familiar. Everybody knows it. Why it popped back into the light box or why it was out of it to begin with. But anyway. There we are. Uh, design, well, layout, let's talk about that. Just placement, if it's a subscribe, probably just drop it in a corner or, well, let's put it this way. You probably want it just in the center because even if we change the background so it's transparent and we change change this to a corner so we think okay it's not as intrusive they're still in the light box so they, they can't scroll around when this is popped up so you're gonna make them search for this X to close it it's not gonna be real intuitive so 
in general. Yeah. Just keep it in the center. Have some kind of background overlay. It doesn't have to be a hard color like that. Something that's gonna make this stand out. And don't hide the X. You know, this isn't an app, an ad in an app of a game that you're trying to play. They don't want it, just let them out, okay? Don't aggravate your visitors. It took a lot of work to get them there. Don't scare them away. All right, so you saw how I changed the background overlay. You can set it up, I don't know why. Uh, that would, you would wanna change that. I don't know why we have settings there again. Anyway, you can link to a data, data set. I don't know why we do that again. But um, you can go back over here and change the design of the light box itself. So if I change this, you can see my light box changes. Right? And then once you're inside the light box, it's just like any other section or object or elements on your website, on your Wix website. Drag and drop, images, text. You know, keep it simple. Don't ask for more than their email here. Maybe their name, okay? Maybe their phone number, I guess, if you're gonna do some text message marketing. But, you know, try and keep it to one field here, if at all possible. Make this button stand out. This is a horrible button right here. It doesn't stand out at all. Um, and then I've never been a fan of thanks for submitting. It just seems kind of weird to me. So you, know, you might say, uh, I don't know, something better than this, but check your inbox and spam folder because you probably want to spam. So just check that. Maybe something like, here, we'll give you a better idea. whatever you offer grammar matters punctuation all right there we go so let's see let's talk about how to trigger this let's say you don't want it to pop up whoops you don't want it to just pop up automatically all right we're gonna go ahead and say no we don't want to automatically display like box on pages which means we need to link to it we have to figure out a way to get people there all right, so we've named it test. Let's go back over here. Let's exit our light box mode. Let's say I want this button to link to my light box. All the way down here at the bottom, you can see we have light box. And we only have one, so that's easy. We're gonna click done, save it, preview it. And, and there you go. That's how you link directly to a light box. All right, so that is light boxes and subscription and email collection in a nutshell. There's so much more to it than that. And there's certainly much more to actually getting emails. This is how you set it up, but collecting emails and building a list is conversion optimization on a whole different planet. It's so much different than trying to sell a product or a service. Getting their emails is a different ball game. So reach out to us if you have any questions. Thanks.